Hello and welcome back to the studio. I'm currently working on a Reef Marsh track, which I've tried to work on for a long time, but I've had some real issues with the files. Um, confusion. Probably my fault, so there's nothing weird about that. So, uh, I've started recording some percussion stuff, because now I'm ignoring the um, uh, the click track, and I'm recording straight on top of the track, which is a very 60s way of doing stuff. And it's uh, a bit more difficult because it uh, involves a lot of listening and trying to figure out if it's actually like right or not. Um, so, so far I've recorded uh, two shakers. You've seen shakers before, so I don't have to show you those. But um, on top of that, or as like the main verse rhythm, uh, I have recorded my uh, trusty Udu drum. And there's a lot of sounds you can get out of one of these. Uh, let's see now, you've got your... You can get like five or six different tones, or at least I can. I'm definitely not a good Udu player. Um, the reason why I bought it was that I felt that... Uh, it sounds pretty much like a, a tabla, uh, or tabla and bata, uh, but I knew that I'd never have the, uh, I don't know, the discipline to learn to play those like really amazing percussion instruments. So I thought if I could just rip off the sound, I'd be fine. And so far, it's been working out pretty well. But now I'm trying to get some uh, framing on this sound. So I'm going to do a couple of. Uh, couple of different treatments. And the first one I'm going to do is, uh, of course, using uh, the um, my uh, new modular system using the MOTM uh, 420, which is like the MS-20 filter. So let's hear the sound. And here we go. And it, here's your like, cut off and your resonance right there. the high pass. Okay, uh, just listening to this, it feels, it sounds really great, but one problem that I've actually felt with the modular system so far, I'm not, everything isn't connected and it's not completely up to it's like Death Star standard yet, uh, but it's, that, it's so clean and it sounds so great. It's like really, um, really, really nice. So we need to change that. And the easiest way, of course, is to add distortion. Yes. So I'm going to add the uh, Noble Bass Overdrive. I actually think I'm going to put it after the filter which means that I'm uh, distorting everything coming out of the filter instead of letting the filter uh, filter the distorted signal. We'll listen and find out. Ah, oh. see you in a while. 